In history's vast and storied halls, where power's echo softly calls, lie tales of queens, both feared and bold, their stories seldom told. From ancient lands to thrones of gold, their ambitions fierce, their methods cold. Welcome to Path to Facts, where mysteries are solved and wonders are revealed. Today, we'll delve into a world that's right under our noses, yet still full of surprises. One, Queen Renavalona, first of Madagascar, 1828-1861. Often referred to as the Mad Queen of Madagascar, Rana Valona Wern's reign was marked by her fierce resistance to European colonial influences and her brutal methods of maintaining power. She used harsh punishments such as the Tangina ordeal, a poisonous trial to prove innocence, and forced labor which led to a significant decrease in the population of Madagascar during her reign. Her xenophobic policies effectively preserved Madagascar's independence, but at a terrible cost to the lives and well-being of her people. Rana Valona's legacy is a testament to the complexities of sovereignty and resistance to colonialism, embodying the dual nature of protection and tyranny. Two, Queen Tomaris of the Masajeti, Silver 530 BC. Tomaris is remembered for her vengeful battle against Cyrus the Great of Persia. After the capture and subsequent suicide of her son at the hands of Cyrus, Tomaris waged war against the Persian Empire. She promised to quench Cyrus's thirst for blood and when she won the battle, she fulfilled her promise by decapitating Cyrus and dipping his head into a vat of human blood. Her story is a testament to the lengths a mother and ruler will go to avenge her child and protect her people. Tomiris's victory over Cyrus left its mark on history, showing the strength and determination of a woman who defied the might of one of the greatest empires of the ancient world. Three, Empress Wu Zetian of China, 697 or five. Ascending to the throne in a male-dominated era, Wu Zetian broke centuries of tradition by declaring herself Emperor of China, the only woman ever to do so. Her reign was marked by a mix of ruthlessness against her opponents and progressive policies, including the expansion of the civil service examination system, which allowed men from non-noble backgrounds to serve in government roles. Wu Zetian's era is often considered one of the golden ages of Chinese culture and administration despite the controversial methods she used to secure her power. Her reign exemplified the potential for female leadership in a patriarchal society, and her policies contributed to the prosperity and stability of the Tang Dynasty. Four, Queen Olga of Kiev, 945-960, after her husband was murdered by the Drevlians, a tribe that refused to pay tribute, Olga took revenge by orchestrating the massacre of Drevlian envoys and nobles ultimately decimating her city. Her transformation from vengeful widow to wise ruler marked her reign. She later focused on strengthening the state and promoting the spread of Christianity in Kievan Rus, laying the groundwork for the Christianization of the region under her grandson, Vladimir the Great. Olga's sainthood in the Eastern Orthodox Church contrasts sharply with her brutal early rule. Her actions demonstrate the multifaceted roles women can play in history navigating between vengeance, governance, and spiritual leadership. Five, Queen Budaisha of the Iceni tribe, AD 6061. Budika led one of the most significant revolts against the Roman Empire after the Romans annexed her kingdom, publicly flogged her, and raped her daughters. In retaliation, she united several British tribes and led a revolt that resulted in the destruction of Londinium, London, Verulamium, St. Albans, and Camulodunum, Colchester. Her courage in the face of oppression has made her an enduring symbol of the struggle against injustice and tyranny. Boudicca's legacy as a warrior queen who stood up to the might of Rome continues to inspire movements for freedom and resistance to occupation. Six, Queen Isabella Versor of Castile, in 1474 to 1504. Known for her role in the Reconquista, completing the unification of Spain and sponsoring the voyage of Christopher Columbus, Isabella's reign was also marked by the establishment of the Spanish Inquisition. Her policies led to the forced conversion, expulsion, or execution of thousands of Jews and Muslims, casting a dark shadow over her contributions to exploration and nation building. Despite these controversies, Isabella's impact on world history is undeniable, shaping the course of European and American history. Her reign exemplifies the complexities of leadership, 
where visionary achievements coexist with morally questionable actions. Seven, Queen Fredegund of Neustria, 567 to 597. Rising from servant to queen, Fredegund was notorious for her role in the brutal and long-running feud with her sister-in-law, Brunhild. Her relentless ambition and ruthless tactics, including murder and assassination, were instrumental in her son's eventual ascension to the throne of a unified Frankish kingdom. Fredegund's life is a vivid illustration of the violent and treacherous nature of Merovingian politics. Her story is not only one of ambition and cruelty, but also of survival in a time when power dynamics were constantly shifting and the throne was won and lost through bloodshed and intrigue. Eight, Queen Artemisia I of Korea, 480 BC. A naval commander and ally of Xerxes during the Persian invasion of Greece, Artemisia was one of the few female military leaders in ancient history. Her skill at sea and her strategic advice to Xerxes distinguished her at the Battle of Salamis where she used cunning tactics to escape despite the defeat of the Persian fleet, earning the admiration of Xerxes. Artemisia's legacy as a woman of courage and intellect challenges the patriarchal narratives of ancient history. Her achievements underscore the impact that women leaders can have on the outcomes of pivotal events in history, offering a nuanced perspective on female agency and military strategy. Nine, Empress Irene of Byzantium, 797 to 8002. Irene's rise from Athenian noblewoman to Byzantine empress consort and later empress regnant is a remarkable story of intrigue and determination. Her reign is known for the restoration of the veneration of icons in the Eastern Christian Church, ending the first phase of the Byzantine iconoclasm. However, her path to sole rule included the controversial move of blinding her own son, Constantine VI, to prevent his return to power demonstrating the brutal lengths to which she would go to maintain her grip on the empire. Irene's reign remains a pivotal, if controversial, moment in Byzantine history, reflecting the complex interplay of religion, power, and maternal ambition. Her actions reveal the intricate and often brutal politics of the Byzantine court, where family ties were often sacrificed on the altar of political expediency. 10. Queen Anula of Anuradhapura, 47 to 42 BC. Sri Lanka's first female ruler and notorious for her deadly methods of securing and maintaining power. Inula's reign was marked by a series of assassinations of her husbands and suitors. Her unquenchable thirst for power and disregard for traditional norms of royal succession make her one of the most fascinating and controversial figures in ancient Sri Lankan history. Anula's reign, though brief, is a powerful narrative about the quest for power and the legacy of female leadership in a patriarchal society. Her story highlights the challenges and perils faced by women who dared to rule in their own right, navigating a path fraught with danger and betrayal in a male-dominated world. If these tales of power and might have sparked your interest, ignite, then hit subscribe, like, and share your thoughts below if you dare. Let's keep the conversation flowing on history's river, ever rowing.